Usually you associate vanilla with baking and sweet goods, but it also works in a savoury context, just like this recipe. I'm going to be making a carpaccio of kingfish and serving it with a vanilla and coconut dressing. Now, I like to use fresh vanilla beans for this because I want the true essence of the actual vanilla beans. You don't want to be using vanilla extract or vanilla bean paste because we just want the slight perfume of these gorgeous beans. Now, vanilla is so prized for me. It's just the most beautiful ingredient to have in my pantry. And what I'm doing here is just loosening up the vanilla bean pod, just so I can extract as many vanilla bean seeds as possible. So using a sharp knife, a small sharp knife, we're going to cut straight down the center of the bean. And once you've opened it up, use your knife to scrape the seeds out. Look how many seeds we get. That is one beautiful vanilla pod right there. We'll do that to the other side. And that's our vanilla seeds that we'll use for our dressing. Now this, don't throw out your vanilla bean pods because there's still so much flavor in here. What you could do is place it into some caster sugar and make vanilla sugar. So we'll place that to the side. For the rest of this dressing, I'm going to add some coconut milk. Give that a bit of a shake. In that goes some soy sauce to season it and we need some acidity. So I'll use a little bit of the lime zest and lime juice. This has definitely got a South Pacific Island vibe going to it and I just love these flavors. Okay, a little juice, squeeze that in and we'll give that a whisk. And just drizzle that dressing over the carpaccio. Kingfish is fantastic for this. You could also use other fish like mahi-mahi and snapper. You just need the smallest amount of that dressing. And finally slice some French shallot. I don't want the onion to overtake the vanilla flavour, so just a few little strips of that can go on top. Some crunchy julienne of carrot and for a simple garnish, some parsley. I've got some fancy micro parsley here, but you could just use some simple chives if you like. There you go, vanilla. Not just a wonderful ingredient for our baked goods and our desserts, it's also fantastic for dressings just like this.